Hi guys, so today I'm going to try out these two new sets uh, from Dime Press that they brought to HSN. They did send these items free of charge for my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box would be affiliate links, which means I would make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So thanks for using those if you're able to. Um, again, the description box is just under the video. You can click on the title, you can click on show more, or the little triangle there, and it'll open up that box for you. Um, so I have two things that I think uh, will go together very well in that uh, this first one, let's, you know, we'll just make this the first one. It's the Mega Alphabet and Number Die Kit, and these are all um, alpha dies. So let's check this out. And I thought it'd be fun, because we know when you use alpha dies, we can make words. Obviously, we can do all these different things, and we can use them for maybe monograms. So I'm thinking they would go together really nicely with the created tag dies and stamp set. That's the second thing we'll look at today. But let's open this up. Oh, so cute. So we have like a cursive font here and kind of like a block letter font. Now I know people will probably ask if these are fonts that Diane Press has had before. I don't recall these, but, you know, I don't know. This one reminds me of one of the foil fonts that they had a while back, but not really. <laughs> so um, I will open these up. And um, hopefully, you know, you can go through your stash and you'll, you'll be able to know that or not. Um, well, yeah, we can see them right through here. So, again, it's alphas and numbers. And so this one here is just your typical kind of like a typeface font. Look at the little G. I love a G that's made that way. That is so cute. And then that typical, like, the old school A. Um, and so, of course, we have all our letters here. Uh, let's measure these guys. So on this font here... I would say I'm going to measure the letter A because that's kind of your typical, you know, letter vowel there. It's about an inch tall. Like if I look at the die cut itself, it's probably seven eighths of an inch. And across is about the same um, seven eighths or so. So then you can kind of play off of what these other, you know, the taller letters might be. And then again, this one is, um, well, not again, but I hadn't really shown this one. This one is more of a script. Look at the Q on that. Look like uh, capital letters where these are kind of like lowercase. You can see that there. And since they're all about the same, of course they're going to be the same height. Um, almost an inch tall. Sorry, what am I saying almost an inch? I was going to say this looks bigger than an inch. It's this clear ruler. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter tall, sorry. And the width on that one is almost... Just over half an inch. Hopefully that gives you an idea. And this one here is kind of like a marquee font. This is what I would think. You know, I'm saying very bold and straight lines. Um, again, uh, uppercase letters. I'll measure this bottom part. It's about almost uh, an inch and three eighths at the bottom here, and about an inch and a half tall. Again, the letter itself is probably just over an inch and a quarter tall because I'm kind of measuring the die at this point um, on those. And then we have that skinny kind of skinny kind of kerned like very tight uh, looking font. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's very short skinny. Um, let's see here. This one again, if I'm looking at the die it's about one and a quarter probably where it die cuts and like a half an inch wide, if even that wide. So like again, they're very tight. And then the numbers are very much like a typical uh, typewriter font. You know what I'm saying? Like that old school kind of font. Really cute. We have an at. Oh, I love it. And the and. And the pound hashtag. I guess it's called a hashtag now, but we used to call it pound <laughs> back in the day. Exclamation point and your um, question mark. Super cool. So that's a kind of like a mega set there of fonts. And then this one here is, again, the Create a Gift Tag Dies and Stamps. And let's open this guy up. Oh, wow. Okay. Tons of tags, as you can see there. Really sweet. Let's look at the size of, like, these two, and then we'll see the um, stamps. So let's see. Three, I would say it's probably going to end up being three and a quarter inches long, that one, by about two inches. And then this one, again, about three and a quarter inches 
also by two inches. There's this little piece here that you can mat and layer into different things or you can use it to um, cut edges or do whatever you want with it clearly. Um, this uh, uh, rectangle, a little circle tag, it's about a one and a quarter inch, you know, kind of circle with a little tag in there. Reinforcements, which I love. Again, this is another type of reinforcement where it goes over the whole uh, front and back. Um, cute little kind of banner tag. Two different ones of those. So these little guys here, you can pop these on wherever. So like, let's say you made this tag, but then you want the bottom to be scalloped. So you would run it through and then you take this piece and tape it on there, run it through again. Now you have that scallop. Um, however you want to use it, you know, if you want to oh, layer up two tags, maybe do a cute little scallop like this. So the one behind it's peeking out and then the scalloped one on top. I mean, lots of fun ways to use these guys down here. Um, same thing with this bracket. Uh, let's see, there's like a, oh, I'll say it's like this, but I guess you could do that, but it's more for like a dovetail. So if you want to do that on your tag and then cut that dovetail. Obviously, we'll play with these things, so we'll check that out in just a minute. Again, I already forgot where this came from. Was it here? I don't know. Um, we have this cute little um, one here that does, like, the ticket stubs. This, I'm trying to see if that's an edge. Yeah, it's an edge die, too, or if it cuts out, like, this curly cue kind of thing. But, no, it's an edge die also. So it cuts out this cute little pattern plus a little scalloped edge. How cute is that? And then all of these are all like edge dies. So this one does like little eyelets. This one does that cute lace, another beautiful lace pattern. Oh my gosh, scallops, uh, like a zigzag design, kind of wavy design, another lacy design here. My goodness. Oh yeah, I guess we can look at the instruction sheet. That would give us an idea. Um, again, the cutting folder instruction sheet. Now let's look at the stamps. We have thank you, this beautiful kind of like laurels here, a little heart with love, a gift for you, to and from, to and from in different type fonts, little flower, sprig, beautiful flower there, more sprigs for you. Love the color of these carriers, so cute. Hello, thinking of you for my friend, with love, beautiful flowers, yay, good stuff inside, <laughs> cute. You are very special to me, heart and another flower, like daisies. And they create a tag instruction sheet, so this will show you a little more. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> they have, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different um, bottom edges that you can do if you would like. And they're just showing you basically what we were talking about. Oh, look at this one. Did I overlook that? Yep, I overlooked it right here. Another reinforcement, but a nice big one right here. Um, oh, and there's also this one. <laughs> it's more just rectangular. So four different ways to reinforce if you like to do that. And here are some ideas of, again, pairing them up, which I think is a really cute idea. Um, doing all the different bot. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, you guys. Awesome. So I think we'll do a little, some monogram tags, play a little bit with those um, little uh, border dies, and see what we come up with. Okay, so I just grabbed some scraps of paper, and this one is just a little small to hold this, but I'm going to use a border die down here anyway, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to line it up right there, and usually I hold on to my dies, but since this one I want it to stay where I'm putting it because of the way the paper is a little bit short, I'm going to put a little tape, and I'm going to run it through, just making sure that top part is good. All right, and I'll use a Sorry, folder so I've yeah, been so using. I'm using a folder that I've been using so you can see that you can just kind of get that going. It doesn't matter if it has a little bit of funkiness to it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be pristine and flat like when you first get them. Aww. Actually, I like that up pretty perfectly. I even got that bottom part. Okay. Um, but we can do some fun things. Now you can do the stamping and then do the die cutting, die cover, however it is that you want to do it. Do they show anything here? They're cutting it first and then doing some fun things. So however is it you want to do that. Uh, let's try something simple on this one. And let's just go with like this little wavy line here. And I'm just going to bring it down as low, kind of lining it up to that bottom part. And I'm going to take this. And of course we can do stamping. We're going to build this up in different ways. So I'm putting a pretty good amount of tape on there. I'm also going to hold it when I run it through. I mean, I'm also going to put it at a little bit of an angle. And 
so I put it down low just so it wouldn't take too much off there. But you know, do whatever you like. I have a little tag bottom that's super cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I think for this one I'm going to just take this little piece of white paper and cut out one of the little circle tags. So I'm not going to do a reinforcement because it's going to have both of these already. But you can definitely add the reinforcement if you like also. This is just a white piece of paper. I'm going to cut this guy out. We're going to do some stamping on that in just a second, but I'm just getting this ready. <laughs> so cute. And... Again, the reinforcement will also fit this, too, if you want to put a reinforcement on that. Uh, I think I'm going to get one of the letters, do a little monogram, and then, like, a tag on the bottom. That's so it's just a letter, um, like an initial, and um, I was actually looking for this set, and I'm like, where do you go? <laughs> Let's do the S. Oh, the A is so cute, though, but I'm going to do an S. And I'm just going to roll it through this black paper. And with these little guys, you can always take like the um, cutting folders from like the original little guy die press cutter. If I can find one, I usually have one nearby. Anyhow, they'll fit in there. There we go. Like this little guy. And I can hold on to that. And you can still run this through your marquee or your smaller set, of course. There it is. And I'm just going to glue this on here. So we have an initial, you know, of whoever your recipient might be. Uh, let's grab some glue. Hiding on me already. And we can drop shadow it and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so there's that part of that tag. Uh, let me get some inks and we'll do some stamping on this. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this freehand. So cute. So I'm just gonna take this little guy. I'm gonna take some brown ink so it kind of fades away. This brown ink happens to be very um, dark so I'm gonna do a stamp it off first. And then, actually I'm gonna do it twice. off a few times there we go okay and maybe we'll put that like here just like a little bit of background a little rustic a little faded away there cute and you can also just turn this and do it again if you like but I'm just gonna go from there into our sentiment sorry guys my neighbor has an obsession with his blower so like <laughs> always always it's so funny I have palm trees so like I don't have leaves in general so I don't I don't know anything about that but uh, let's see thinking of you for my friend I mean just for you thank you oh you know I go I always go thank you but uh, all those other ones are really nice too and then we'll have this little tag with it so um, I'll just stamp that in black just to bring out the black from the monogram there. And I'm eyeballing all this, but again, if you want to use a stamp positioner, that'd probably be the wisest. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to give that a minute to set up because it is VersaFine ink and it takes no minutes to dry. And actually, if I want to hit that with, um, why not? Why not? Let's grab this, my well-loved and well-used for several years coffee filter, and some embossing powder. And I think I unplugged my um, heat tool, but... And when I say why not, it's probably because, oh, you didn't use the little um, embossing buddy first. But that's okay. Whatever I don't like here that's trying to set up, let me put this on. I can kind of flick it off so it doesn't emboss. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit this with my heat tool 
after I plug it in. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. It's a little warm. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Just makes it pop. Okay. Then we can put those two guys together. And, you know, put a little twine through there or something like that. And actually, let me grab that. I'm going to do some black and white twine. I think that'll be cute. And of course, you can tie them, you can put a bow, you can just, you know, put this through here. You can do the double where you double it up and then pop it through. Whatever it is that you like. And then, you know, bring in some of your Christmas stamps and dies and all that. They have tons of different ways of using this basic set. Oh, I love that. A little monogram. Well, thank you. So cute. Okay, uh, let's try out uh, another design. Okay, so we have our one tag for this one. I think I'm going to try this one with one of these sweet um, little lace bottom type things. And I'm not sure... Yeah, I'll stamp on it a little bit. Because um, this paper that I have is texture on one side and it's kind of not textured on the other. So I'll use it on the side that's less textured. Cut this guy out. Um, so I had brought this uh, little scrap paper here that has these little cupcakes because I thought another cute thing you can do, like even with this little circular one, is just like see what it's going to cut. And you can cut that out and it has a little cupcake on the tag. Cute. Um, so just a quick idea. Something like that. So we have that guy. And let's do a lacy lacy one. Um, let's go with this one. Again, I mean, there's just so many plays, ways to play with this. So, again, what I'm going to see is on the back. Kind of where that ends. Okay. And I'm just eyeballing this to make it so that it's about centered. Um, right about there. And I'll put this tape kind of down the center. Pop this guy in here. Look at that! So again, I centered it, you know, just eyeballing it. But you can see where it kind of curves up, and you can kind of see where that ends, and that's like just perfectly so sweet and delicate. Love it! Uh, I think on this one I'm also going to do a little background stamping, just kind of faint, like we did on the first one. I'm just trying to clean this out without cleaning it out, but it's not great for camera to just keep tossing it around, so let me go ahead and clean that out. Alright, and... Uh, let's see. Again, with these guys, I'm just doing like a little background something. That'll be cute. Um, let me grab like a pink. Actually, I think I have one sitting right here. This might not be the exact pink I would like to use, but that's okay. And where's that scrap paper? Again, I'm going to do a little second generation stamping, as they call it. So... Instead of just going deep with that pink, I'm going to stamp it off, even though this is a very light pink, but it's pretty bright, as you can see. And so now when I stamp it, it'll just be a little bit less, a little whisper of a color. And just a little something. Hopefully you can see it's just a little wisp, which is what I want, like a little ghosting. All right, and I think for this one... We can also put like a little topper, <laughs> something like this guy. And so what I'm going to do is, let me see, how long will that be? Okay. Um, oh, I think this was just a scrap piece of paper, but now it's going to become an actual project piece of paper. <laughs> so I'm going to use that and I'm probably going to put a, a monogram letter on this one. And so on this, we'll just do... Um, a gift for you. And I think I'm going to stamp it like right in there. And then when we cut it, there'll be a little bit of a background, you know, showing through. Maybe there. Okay. Black ink. And 
I'll stamp it like in here so that that little background pink will be cut with it. And we can also do it this way. However you want, you know, wherever you want to put it. Nice. Love that script, like type font, should I say. You guys know I love my vintage typewriters. All right, let's put those to the side. And... Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I forgot this has to be cut a certain way, you know, so um, mine's going to be cut like this because I don't have room for it to be <laughs> any shorter than that. And we'll go here. Okay, so I'm going to tape that down so it doesn't move, and I'll just run this through, and I'll be right back. So just trim that paper down. Aww. And we're going to pop that on here too with a monogram. And we get these letters. I really like the style of this one. This letter B here. Which is interesting because my mom's name is Bertha, so maybe we'll use that one day. <laughs> I'm just doing examples right now, of course. Yeah, if you want to pop it through something like this. Just like that. Or how about if you were to cut numbers like it's someone's 21st birthday. Diego's 21st birthday is coming up. I know, I'm not old enough to have a... I don't look old enough to have a son that's 21, <laughs> um, but I do. He'll be 21, actually, just a couple weeks here. But um, you can put the number on there, you know, cute things like that. Okay, and then I will put um, some twine and put those two together. Okay, guys, so just a few fun ways to use these, um, you know, with our lettering, like I said, I wanted to pop it on these because I thought it'd be cute as monograms, of course, with fonts. I mean, you can create, sky's the limit, you know, great uh, scrapbook pages, personalized names on cards, just um, a title on a card or like a sentiment, you know, joy and hope, live, laugh, love, all those fun things people like to put on cards. I mean, there's obviously tons of ways to use uh, fonts. And then the tag set that's just really super um, versatile. And I mean, you can do so much with this. Really cute. I love how easy they just popped on there and just made some cute uh, stylized tags there. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Diane Press, for sending these items for review. I'll have the links in the description box. I'll have some pictures for you coming up. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.